been painting murals for a long time, since I was 18 years old. Most of my work, I would get commissioned to paint memorial murals, you know, of people who passed away uh, violently or through natural causes, what have you, but mostly through violence. And, it, and it, I would say around 2014, it was, that's when it kind of like hit me where majority of the work that I was painting, you know, was just portraits of dead children. And it would be in neighborhoods, predominantly black neighborhoods. And I started to notice that I was making these neighborhoods look like graveyards, you know? And I remember this little kid came up to me. He was like, um, when I die, can you paint my face on the wall? And it really bothered me and it sat with me, you know? And I was like, all right, I need to move away from doing this type of work specifically and figure out a way to bring, you know, to paint us in a way, black folk, from a place of light and from a place of life. The kids that are featured on this mural are local students at Champlain Elementary School and Edmonds Middle School. We thought it was important to make sure that local youth of color, local black youth could see themselves reflected in public art. So our Afro-pollinator theme is really connected to this idea that we can live or we should be living in mutuality with the natural environment. So we'll be including um, Afro-Indigenous plants and flowers. And there's also going to be excerpts, excerpts from poems written by Burlington youth yeah. inter, intermixed into the wall. We started to learn about sort of like honeybees being endangered years ago. As we connect to um, the current uh, social movements, we found a correlation between the endangerment of pollinators and the endangerment of black and brown bodies and wanted to bring a new perspective of resilience and strength and empowerment and a sense of freedom. We had two community paint days, one where the larger community was invited to come out and paint uh, predetermined shapes that are being collaged right now into the front of the building, into the, the wings that are on the youth, the three youth at the front. We specifically chose to um, center local black youth on this particular mural in this particular neighborhood. We wanted to make sure that we were continuing to remind people that this is not an invisible demographic. Black and brown people are not invisible. They are living, breathing, thriving, enjoying life in this area. Why not represent us from a place of life, right? So, especially in a city like Burlington, where there are so many people of color, but still go unnoticed or unseen, you know? So, for us, it's vitally important that these stories are told.